Bree and Jace, today marks the one month anniversary of the late Bert Piolo. Piolo was a veteran GPD officer who was killed by a single gunshot wound to the chest. His alleged shooter is Mark Torrey Jr., who has since pleaded not guilty to the charges of murder, manslaughter, and aggravated assault. Today, here at the ITC intersection, family and friends have gathered for a peaceful awareness rally. And I'm here with Jasmine Molina and Mary Joya Chan. So, what's happening here today? Today we are having a rally for our cousin-in-law, Albert Piolo, and um, this is for some justice, you know, got to speak up, trying to make Mark Tory speak up too about what really happened, and yeah. And you were telling me earlier maybe frustrations about the, about the bail. Yeah, we're concerned about having it like from half a million to 165,000. We were wondering why is it because he's an officer that he gets special treatment. So that's why we really want justice. We want to know, like, just because he's a cop doesn't mean he needs special treatment. Are you concerned at all that because GPD is investigating that that Bert won't get a fir Bert won't get justice because uh, Tory will be facing a trial soon, facing the jury soon? Do you think that that has any effect? I'm not too sure, but all of us are right now afraid that. <sighs> Sorry. Mark Tory will, um, what's that called? This case will get dismissed and like nothing will happen to Albert because just because he's a police too. And I feel like Mark Tory not having an ankle bracelet is not right because you might never know if he does really go out without his third parties or if they can always lie in court and all that. So I feel like Mark Tory does deserve an ankle bra bracelet and that we deserve some justice. Tell me a little bit more about Bert. He's a fun-loving guy. He, he actually likes having his family members smile, and he loves like just having a good time with his family and friends, mostly his family. We really didn't get to hang out with him as much because other stuff, but we're glad that we spent at least some time to get to know him. He Albert is a good father, friend, and brother, and cousin-in-law. Um, Albert was gone too soon, and um, we will always be here for his family, supporting and all that. So yeah, justice for Bert. Justice for Bert. As for Tori, Tori is still on house arrest to third party custodians. We should note that as of Monday, his resignation is effective at the Guam Police Department. This is according to GPD spokesperson Officer AJ Balahaja. Again, Tori officially resigned from the force effective August 10. Brian Jace, back to you.